In this video, we will take a brief look at the AdDry editor and show how to quickly create a custom Audrey environment for your Light Tracer render scenes. While working in Light Tracer, you essentially have two options for lighting your scenes. First up is using local mesh lights, which you can just drop into the scene along with your other objects. The second option employs the image-based lighting that captures lighting information as an image. This image is then projected onto a dome or sphere that surrounds the scene to mimic real-world lighting. Often, Abel is quicker to use than mesh lights and gets you faster rendering times. That's why we focus on it today. Light Tracer Render provides some default environment map options within the Library tab, but you can find a lot more of them on third-party resources out there. Alternatively, you can craft your own environment using the tools provided by Light Tracer Render, which is our focus today. For the tutorial, we'll be using this armchair model and the Audrey editor to build a basic three-point lighting setup, which will consist of a key light, a fill light, and a rim light. One more nice thing to add to our scene is a glossy reflection catcher. We'll start with a black environment map, which means no light is coming from the environment just yet. Let's add the default light and place it right behind the model. We can move the light using the interactive environment preview here. Think of this preview as a chrome ball seen from the current camera viewpoint so you are positioning the lights relatively to the current view here. Our goal is to give the subject a rim of light, serving to separate the subject from the background and highlighting contours. Notice, we have hidden the lights from the camera to get clean scene view. Also, we have adjusted the size of the light in the properties widget to control the width of edge highlights. Additionally, you can change the light's color by tuning the temperature or using RGB control. Next, we'll introduce a key light, which, as implied by the name, shines directly onto the subject, acting as its primary source of illumination. The falloff control lets you tweak the softness of the light, while the shape slider allows picking between possible light shapes, round, square, or polygonal, Lastly, we'll add a fill light to complete our three-point lighting setup. The fill light also illuminates the subject, but from a side angle relative to the key light and is often positioned lower than the key light. Keep in mind that along with parametric lights, you can use image lights from the Light Tracer library here you'll find over 30 Studio Light presets. Some of the presets are synthetic, but most are based on real-world pressure measurements and capture techniques. Each one is adjustable for size, color temperature, and more. We've touched on the basics of the EGR editor, but it provides a lot of flexibility for creating any environment you envision. As always, if you're interested in more useful content, feel free to hit the subscribe button, give us a like, and share your thoughts on this video in the comments section below.